We always knew there were vision problems in my family. I remember visiting my great-grandmother when I was a kid. She was blind, uh, never left the house. Uh, definitely noticed it in my father, and, and uh, uh, as the disease progressed in him, it was very clear. We learned about it actually from that my daughter had it. Uh, she was in college, and she said that it was confirmed in her. She said, Dad, you must have it. Best disease is a disease which is caused by the gene best one, similar to the age-related macular degeneration, which is very common. This is a relatively rare disease. About 10,000 people have it in the United States, and it causes some of them severe blindness. This is an example of a rare disease that has a well-defined genetic basis, a single uh, mutation that is causing that disorder, where there's an opportunity to treat patients using the CRISPR technology and offer them an opportunity for, uh, in the end, we hope, a cure. Genome surgery is where we find a specific place in the genome which is causing a problem and that we can fix that uh, by a cutting and, and, uh, and repairing that problem. The process that we, we go through for Jim Johnson, what we did is we took his blood, turned it into stem cells, and then we take the stem cells and we grow it into his retinal cells. We grow it into the exact cells that have the disease. And then now we're taking those cells and then editing those cells so that we, we know exactly when we edit that we can take the bad gene out and leave the good one in and, and optimize everything in his own cells before going into him. Uh, I, I see this project as, uh, as stopping a decline in me and then the many other people who could be helped through the use of Cas9 gene therapy. I really have to credit Bruce Conklin at the Gladstone Institute at UCSF for envisioning a path in the future by which clinicians would be able to use genome editing as a standard of care. Imagining a world where someday people go to the doctor and they uh, have their DNA sequenced, we understand the genetic basis of a disorder they might be uh, dealing with, instead of being able to, you know, telling them that they need to, to, to live with that disorder, we have a, a technology that can actually treat them, potentially even cure them. There are over 7,000 different genetic diseases. The ones that are the best candidates, however, for right now, are the ones where we know exactly where to make the cut and to, and to make the repair, and those are relatively few. Having a partnership between uh, UCSF and UC Berkeley to do that and doing it through the uh, organization of the Innovative Genomics Institute is a great uh, opportunity to explain and educate people about this technology and also to invite uh, people to join us, join us in our effort to bring this important technology into the clinic.